Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another vlog of Multi Tools. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel. Welcome, one and all. In this video, I'm going to go over five of the best deals out there in Multi Tools today. These are budget priced Multi Tools, Multi Tools that are actually good and have been tested for not much money at all. I saw the other day that the Leatherman Squirt was up to $40 on Amazon. The Squirt, their keychain, you know, their keychain multi-tool. When I purchased my last Leatherman Squirt a few years ago, it was $18. So now it's $40. I mean, the prices are getting a little crazy, at least on Leatherman multi-tools. All right, through the magic of editing, let's de-sheath these. So what do we have here? This is the ATEC multi-tool, but it is more widely known internationally as the Splitman multi-tool. It is sold in the U.S. by ATEC, by Burkle, and several other uh, brands on Amazon. I will include links in the text description box. The price on that has been as low as $10 recently. All right, and the normal price, it's, well, $20, $25, but it's gone as low as $10. This is the Kranak multi-tool. It is also sold by some other brands and sellers. It has been as low as $10. Current price is around $15. I will include links to that. This is the Wii Tools multi-tool. That has been as low as $8. Current price is around $12. And believe me, it's worth more than $12. All right, but I'll include links to that. That one might disappear. All right. Now this is the Byberry 13-in-1 multi-tool. Uh, initially, when it was new, it was $35, but the price has gone down to around $18. I'll include a link to that. And that I purchased as the CU Pro multi-tool. However, since that time, some other sellers and other brands have listed the same multi-tool for a lower price. Uh, I think when I bought it, it was $25, but now you can get that for around $18. All right, at this time, I'm going to go in depth and show you the tool sets of each one of these individually. However, I have to tell you, all of these have already been tested. I've done a full review of this, all right? This is the, this is the actual one that appeared in the review. It's identical, just a different, a different color, but you can check out the full review of that Splitman multi-tool. I've done a full review of this Kranak multi-tool. So again, you can, these have been tested by me and by others. You can check out the full review of this. It did really well. I've done a full review of this Byberry multi-tool. You can check that out. Now this Wii Tools is extremely similar uh, to another of Byberry's, but basically people have already tested out the one that's similar to this and you can check those out. Now this particular multi-tool I have not done a full review of. I have tested it just off camera, but this uses the same components as many other models, right? For example, this is the same fire steel you'll see in six different models that have already been tested. This is the same blade that you'll see on many different models that have already been widely reviewed. So basically all the components of this one have been tested and the shears especially have also already been tested. So basically what I am telling you is that these have all been tested out for you to make sure that they actually work, right? And you can check those out if you wanna see in depth. All right, let's, let's just summarize uh, the tool sets so you can see, maybe you can narrow down your search. Okay, the ATEC slash Splitman multi-tool. As you can see, the four longer tools are scissors, a saw, a file, and a plain edged blade. And you got the shorter tools, you have a Phillips screwdriver, you have a reamer awl, you have a cutting hook, a bottle opener, a can opener, and screwdriver ends on two of those. And then you have the pliers and the wire cutters. This is a great budget multi-tool. Before any of these were even in the United States, this had already been tested out by multi-tool reviewers that I know in other countries, uh, talking about France, talking about Germany, talking about Russia, Sweden. So this was already thoroughly tested before I could even get one. And then I tested it myself. I did a full review, so you can check out my full review. But basically, 
Uh, the scissors are a high point. I've already talked to people who, who own the Leatherman Surge and who purchased this, not as a replacement, of course, but because they wanted something as a backup to their Surge, right? Because they are quite similar. This, you could think of this as like an extreme kind of budget version. Uh, it's got like the toolbox approach. Really, the only thing it does not have would be a serrated blade, which is, is fine with me because if I need a rescue blade, I just carry a dedicated folder. All right, so this is a great and very comprehensive tool set. Here's the Kranak multi-tool. As you can see, the two longer tools, a wood saw, a plain edge blade. It also has a can opener, a bottle opener, a half size file. Uh, it's got a screwdriver in there. It's got a, a Phillips screwdriver. It has a reamer and it has a lanyard hole and it does have a wire stripping notch and a wire bending notch as well and the combination pliers with wire cutters. The longer tools do lock, the shorter tools do not lock, but they have, there's a tab of metal back there that acts as a back spring and it is very strong. This also has a pocket clip in addition to the pouch it comes with. Now this is the only multi-tool in this video that does not have scissors. I felt due to the popularity of the Leatherman Rebar and the Leatherman Super Tool 300, which also do not have scissors, I felt I needed to include at least one option for those people who do not want scissors or who choose to carry scissors in some other, in some other way apart from their main multi-tool. The other reason I included this was because of the, the excellent performance of that blade. It's a large blade. It came very sharp. It's a locking blade and it's got one-handed opening. If you watch my full review, that blade, it just did very, very well. Right? And it's overall, it's just a solid, solidly constructed, strong tool with a nice minimalist tool set. This is definitely worth the around $15 that it is right now. I'll include that link, but you might want to watch the full review before you buy one simply because the pivots required some adjusting, All right? That's the, that's the only uh, caveat I will add, All right? But Definitely, definitely worth the price, especially if you do not need the scissors. So the Kranak multi-tool. This is the Wee Tools multi-tool. As you can see, it's got a wood saw, a metal file, a bottle opener with, with a screwdriver end, a Phillips screwdriver, plain edge blade, small serrated blade, scissors, a micro screwdriver, a can opener with a screwdriver end, and the combination pliers with wire cutters as well as a pocket clip. And all of those tools do lock. This multi-tool started off around $20, then it went down to $15, then it went down to $12, and I've even seen it go as low as $8. And when it did reach $8, I did pick up like two extra because this is worth at least $20. Uh, the scissors function very well. You can even cut paracord with them. Look how, com look how complete this tool set is. Really, the only thing it doesn't have is a reamer all. But I mean, they've even managed to give you a little bit of serrated blade in there and the four traditional longer tools. Now, of all the tools I'm showing in this video, this is in the biggest danger of disappearing because there's only one seller that sells these and the price is so low, I'm afraid that it just might go away forever. In fact, the reason I haven't done a full review is because I'm... I'm halfway paranoid that as soon as I finish doing the production of the review that they won't be available anymore. So if you want it, jump on it. This is also the most compact of the five tools I'm showing. So if that's an issue, if you need to remain low profile, if, if weight is an issue, bulk is an issue, this is the most compact. And look at the comprehensive tool set for such a compact multi-tool. This is the Byberry 13-in-1 multi-tool. It has a wood saw, a metal file, a reamer, a Phillips screwdriver, a lanyard hole, a plain edged blade, a small serrated blade, a can opener, a bottle opener, uh, two more flathead screwdrivers, and scissors, as well as the combination pliers and wire cutters. And I've already done a full review of this. You can check that out. It performed very well. The scissors were definitely a high point of this tool. 
This tool started off, started off its life at $35, but there was a little bit of competition. A few, there was a different seller that was selling the same tool and that drove the price down. So currently it's around $18 and it is well worth it. It has an extremely comprehensive tool set. Everything worked well. It's got one handed opening on the blade. The blade was uh, very sharp as well. And if you, you know, if you're interested, you can check out the reviews of this, but this is definitely, this is my favorite of Byberry's whole line. Byberry has uh, many different multi-tools. This is actually my favorite of their entire line and it is well worth the price. This multi-tool I purchased as the CU Pro multi-tool. It has a locking combo edge blade with one-handed opening. It's got a bottle opener as well as a Phillips screwdriver which also serves as the shank for the bit kit. Got an adapter and many bits. It has a locking wood saw. It's got the combination pliers with wire cutters. It has an emergency fire steel and it has some very large shears or very large scissors that actually detach from the tool and you can use them separately. And yes, they do work extremely well on all different materials you would want to cut. Now this multi-tool frame has been used in many, many different multi-tools that all have different tool sets. I think this is like the sixth different incarnation or variation. And I think it has almost reached its final form because um, this tool set is the best, right? So this is the most worthwhile version of this commonly used frame. They also added a lock to the saw and, you know, for bushcraft, that saw is useful, that fire steel is a good emergency thing, and the fact that it has a bit kit that, that just fits over that, I mean, that, that just makes a lot of sense, right? Instead of having a whole bunch of screwdrivers, like, scattered around on some can openers and stuff, you just have a bit kit that it comes with, an adapter. So, I really like this tool set. And it, this used to be about $25, but you can actually get them for around $18 right now. I saw it being sold by a brand called Traveler and another brand as well. I will include all the links so that you can get the best price. The first thing I did when I got this was test out the shears for myself. I can vouch for them. They work extremely well on any material you would like to cut. So basically for $18, this has a great kind of outdoorsy oriented tool set. The only thing I would change, I would just go ahead and put a plain edge instead of the combo edge. Now it is definitely the bulkiest of these five. It's more the thing you would carry like, let's say in a backpack rather than necessarily uh, on your belt day to day, but it has a very useful tool set. Those shears, if you do gardening, those shears are going to be very useful and they're just, they're just useful out in the field for a variety of things. So yeah, I like this tool set. I like the price. Everything works well. I definitely recommend this. Uh, it'll definitely give you more use than the uh, $18 it is. All right, I hope you enjoyed those quick and dirty overviews. So if you're trying to decide between, you know, which, which one of these should you get, uh, let me summarize the pluses and minuses of these, right? The Wii tools, as I said, that's the most compact, the most easy to carry. If you're trying to, if you're concerned about weight and you want low profile and compactness, if that's your big priority, then the Wii tools is very good. Now that CU Pro, also sold as the Traveler, that's the only one that has a bit set. So if the bit set is particularly something that you use day to day, consider that. It's also the most outdoorsy kind of bushcrafty tool set because it has that locking saw, which is good, and it has that backup fire steel and the biggest and best scissors, those detachable shears, right? So for outdoors, for bushcraft, uh, if, you, if you need a bit set, uh, for gardening, if you need a fire steel on your multi-tool, consider that for maybe a bug out type thing or a camping multi-tool. It's pretty good. If you go minimalist, let's say you do not need scissors. As I said, the Kranak multi-tool does not have scissors. Perhaps you carry shears like, um, you know, those paramedic type shears. Maybe you carry 
those separately or you have some other way that you have scissors or you just don't use scissors, the Krenak is very good because it does not have scissors, but it has an excellent, excellent blade, right? So, for example, if you do not carry a separate knife, if you tend to use the blade on your multi-tool, then you definitely want the Krenak and you can, again, you can check out my full review where I use the blade extensively and it performs very well and the, the lockup is rock solid as well and it was sharp as all heck. It's a little heavy for what it is for such a minimalist tool set, but it's, it's rugged and strong, right? So you, you get something for that weight. So that's what I'd recommend that for. And the Byberry 13-in-1, as well as the ATEC, also known as the Splitman, those are just very comprehensive tool sets. Those are just multi-purpose, very well-rounded. They're basically good complements, good backups to something like the Leatherman Surge. And by the way, my Leatherman Surge cost more than all these combined. All right, just put, put that in perspective. But yeah, if you want tools that have very good tool sets, multi-tools that have very good tool sets, consider the Byberry or the Splitman as kind of uh, a poor man's surge or a backup to your surge. Now the scissors are the high point of this tool as well as this tool. I've tested and reviewed both of those and so have many other people. It's just, it's, it's beyond debate. The scissors have been done correctly on those two multi-tools and they actually perform better than the scissors on certain other multi-tools that are way more expensive. All right, so if you want basically a poor man's surge, consider this or this. Now, sometimes you'll encounter people who think, oh, all, all cheap multi-tools are the same. They're all bad. Nope, nope, I've tested out. I've tested all these and I've tested many that you might never see a video on the multi-tools I test that are not even worth showing you. But for example, this Schrade, I was gonna do a full review of this because the price was so good, but it failed on the first task I tried with the blade. Look at the blade. This bends backwards. Look at, look at the blade on that. The lock crapped out on a simple task that all of these multi-tools succeeded at a simple cutting task, this thing failed on the fir very first task. All right, so yeah, no, they are not all created equal. This Work Pro, this is actually a pretty good multi-tool. It's about $15, $17, but the scissors were inferior to the scissors on the four of these that have scissors. There's just no other way to say it. It's still probably worth the price, all right? Don't, don't get pissed if you own one of these. It's still probably worth the price, especially if you don't care about the scissors. But in this day and age, when you got multi-tools with scissors that freaking dominate, there's no reason to even have a substandard scissors anymore, even at this price range. So that's one reason why, you know, this did not make the top five. We got an Amazon Basics multi-tool here. It's like, these go for maybe $10. And it, there's really nothing wrong with it, but <laughs> this was $10 at one point. This was $8 at one point. And this split man, the tool set and how well the tools work, simply, if these are the same price, this completely destroys this multi-tool in any contest. So will these. Okay, so no, I don't just recommend something because it might be $10, but in this day and age, there's no reason to uh, get something like this when you can get, for around the same price sometimes, just far better tool sets and far better made multi-tools. So yeah, these have all been thoroughly tested out for you and I compared them to many other multi-tools to make my determinations. Right, but um, talking about trust, you don't even have to trust me because we've reached such a, a crazy time in the multi-tool world and just in the world in general. These are all on Prime. 
if you bought one and there was anything wrong with it, you could return it. And just to talk about how crazy things have got, if you become inconvenienced in any way, uh, often if you talk to an Amazon representative, not only will they give you your money back, they'll actually give you like $10 of free credit. So what it boils down to is, in certain cases, not only are you insured against anything going wrong, but they're actually, in a way, paying you to try out multi-tools. They're, they're gonna like pay you. If, if you get upset because it wasn't good, they will often give you like a, a $10 credit. So they're actually paying you to try stuff out and insuring it no matter what happens. That's, that's completely nuts. And you know that has allowed me to just basically try anything without risk. And then I pass the findings on to you to help you. Okay, YouTube, so I hope this video has been very helpful to you, all right? And in the text description box, I'll include all the links. Because these are often sold by many different brands, there will be multiple links to the same item, and they might have uh, different names for the same multi-tool. But I would advise you just to go with whichever brand is selling it for the lowest price at the time, as long as it's on Prime and not like shipping from some faraway country, make sure that it's shipping from their warehouse. All right, so I'll include links to all of these in the text description box, as well as links to a lot of other interesting stuff that I might not have time to necessarily talk about in the video, but I think will be worth your while. So check out the links in the text description box. All right, I hope you enjoyed this top five vlog of budget multi-tools. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Multi-Tools. I'm out.